the serpent's deception. Now the serpent was the most crafty of all the brutes on earth, which the Lord God made. And the serpent said to the woman, Wherefore has God said, Eat not of every tree of the garden? And the woman said to the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. But of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said to the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For God knew that in whatever day ye should eat of it, your eyes would be opened, and ye would be as gods, knowing good and evil. And the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes to look upon, and beautiful to contemplate. And having taken of its fruit she ate, and she gave to her husband also with her, and they ate. And the eyes of both of them were opened, and they perceived that they were naked. And they sewed fig leaves together, and made themselves aprons to go around them. God arraigns Adam and Eve. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the afternoon, and both Adam and his wife hid themselves from the face of the Lord, God in the midst of the trees of the garden. And the Lord God called Adam and said to him, Adam, where art thou? And he said to him, I heard thy voice as thou walkest in the garden, and I feared because I was naked and hid myself. And God said to him, Who told thee that thou was naked? Unless thou hast eaten from the tree concerning which I charged thee of it alone not to eat. And Adam said, The woman whom thou gavest to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I ate. And the Lord God said to the woman, Why hast thou done this? And the woman said, The serpent deceived me, and I ate. The fate of the serpent. And the Lord God said to the serpent, Because thou hast done this, Thou art cursed above all cattle and all the brutes of the earth. On thy breast and belly thou shalt go, and thou shalt eat earth all the days of thy life. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. He shall watch against thy head, and thou shalt watch against his heel. The Punishment of Mankind And to the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy pains and thy groanings. In pain thou shalt bring forth children, and thy submission shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. And to Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened to the voice of thy wife, and eaten of the tree concerning which I charged thee of it only not to eat, of that thou hast eaten, cursed is the ground in thy labors, in pain shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life. Thorns and thistles shall it bring forth to thee, and thou shalt eat the herb of the field. In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat thy bread, until thou return to the earth out of which thou wast taken. For earth thou art, and to earth thou shalt return. And Adam called the name of his wife Life, because she was the mother of all living, the expulsion from paradise. And the Lord God made for Adam and his wife garments of skin, and clothed them. And God said, Behold, Adam has become as one of us, to know good and evil. And now, lest at any time he stretch forth his hand, and take of the tree of life, and eat. And so he shall live forever. So the Lord God sent him forth out of the garden of delight, to cultivate the ground out of which he was taken. And he cast out Adam, and caused him to dwell over against the garden of delight, and stationed the cherubs and the fiery sword that turns about to keep the way of the tree of life.